Hey everybody, this is the John Paul Sharp Show, and welcome to the week of September 10th, 2010. Life's been a little crazy, uh, as usual, and uh, I don't really know what's going on most of the time, but I just kind of grasp for things and uh, keep going. And, you know, life's not all that bad. Um, I'm going to be really excited when I fully have my voice back, hopefully before Saturday, because I will be singing uh, and playing piano at Boulder Pride at 3 p.m. I accidentally let unemployment slip this week. Oopsie poopsie. So I have to call unemployment back and that's damn near impossible because you either get sent to three things when you call unemployment these days. First is a self-service menu that does nothing for anyone who actually needs to talk to anyone. This is what you get routed to if more than 220 people are jamming their phone system. That's what they send you to. Okay, so if that gets jammed, which it does, you get sent to a busy signal. Other times I get, uh, all circuits are busy. And so every time I call, I get charged a minute on my phone. And so I've probably called 300 times in the last two days. So. I'm starting to think that I probably should just not bother with it anymore and go get myself some kind of a job job, jobby job job job. I'm thinking Apple because I have a couple of friends that work there and I like Apple products and, uh, and I think I know enough about them that I could actually sell them to people. And uh, honestly, when people go into Apple stores, they're usually ready to buy, I would assume, but you know, whatever. <sighs> So let's talk about the view. So new episodes are now up for the view and uh, it's been very nice to see them. Uh, They've been talking a lot about heart problems and heart surgery. Barbara Walters keeps doing this thing where she goes (laughs) and I'm like Y'all have got to stop doing that because you are going to make me pass out. That's why you will never see me in like the healthcare field or like working as a nurse or a doctor because that kind of stuff, ugh, I can't deal with it. So I hope they kind of, you know, move on next week. But uh, Colin Powell was on TV today. He was on The View and he was talking about um, a lot of great stuff. But I was so happy that he mentioned the term xenophobia because I personally feel that xenophobia is the ultimate problem that American people are dealing with right now. Yes, racism does still exist and it's still there, though less overt. Uh, Gender sexism is still there. You know, all those little things are still there. But the over-encompassing term for that is xenophobia. It's basically this fear or hatred for other people who are strange or foreign to what you're used to or what you're frankly comfortable with. And that's something I think we're going to have to get a hold on soon or or we're going to have problems. I mean, they've got people trying to burn the Koran. Do you know what would happen if somebody in some other country started burning the Bible? I'm just floored, floored. They are doing this new thing called V-Mail now, and uh, you can send video responses to them. And so I'm probably going to do that every day because I have nothing else better to do. Well, I want to get on The View, and I think if I get enough exposure, I could probably sell some CDs. Speaking of which, let's make a deal. Can we talk? In an effort to keep me off of unemployment, would you please consider searching John Paul Sharp's My Big Fat Game Musical on iTunes, Rhapsody, Amazon, CD Baby, and more. My Big Fat Game Musical originally premiered at the Vintage Theater May 2009, starring me, Leanne Gould, Stephanie Zissimos, Kelly Kerr, Sabrina Zaraxade, and a host of others, uh, like Jeffrey Bennett. And um, anyways, please, 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 Consider buying this album. 
also also available on iTunes Rhapsody, Amazon, CD Baby, and more, is Scattered Leftovers from a Messy Life. My Messy Life. You can get a really great picture of me just by listening to this music, and it's at the low price of $9.99. I hope you'll consider buying it. All right, can we talk about my babies? <laughs> my poor babies, okay. First of all, let's talk about Sylvester, okay. Sylvester, after six years, has learned how to jump on the counters. My mother thinks that he might have, like, already known how to do this, but I don't think so, because first of all, he's a thug, and he really don't care if people see him do whatever he wants to do. If he wants to get at something, he'll go ahead and get it. So I knew that this is a new evolution for him, and it's not a good one, because now we have to, like, be so much more careful about where anything is, because he can just get to anything now. <sighs> but more seriously, let's talk about Lelia. Okay, Lelia pooped on the floor today. She threw up on the floor today. And, uh, and I had to stop her from trying to pee in this certain place in the apartment. She's never really, she started doing this in like the last six months or so, and it's really bothering me because, uh, first of all, it's nasty. And second of all, it worries me because I'm like, well, are you sick? She doesn't act sick or anything, but she just acts like she got behavioral problems. So I hope it's not just like something that's going to happen all the time now. Because let me tell you something, when I was cleaning that up this morning, it wasn't the smell that made me almost throw up. It was like the warmth of it between the tissue and my hand, I could feel how warm her throw up was. <sighs> I can't deal with that, so. <sighs> so we gotta do something about that. If you guys have any suggestions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment on my YouTube video or email me at johnpaulsharp.com. Well, let's see. How about we hear some music? So, for this week, we're going to do something just a little different. Um, I'm going to play a pre-recorded track and then sing over it live. So you're getting a mix of recorded and live performance. Okay, here we go. I want you to know that you're okay. In fact, I think you're great. I want you to know that it's okay to feel. So feel what you want to feel. Cause what is real is real to you. What can you do? it to be real just feel hey yeah, yeah. that was pretty good I like that that was totally improv by the way that was totally improv I never wrote lyrics for that before that was totally improv okay <sighs> well that's all we have for this week. I'm trying to keep it a little short if I can. Anyways, I'll see you next week or earlier. <laughs>